going on guys? This is Aaron here and we are back playing some Dire Wolf 20. Do you see this guys? Do you see this? I got myself my mana little steel hat whatever the thing's called. You know why? You know why? Cuz uh, we're doing Botania today guys. We are doing some Botanias. And um, check this out. So I made myself a little clipboard right? And so then that way we would know what the hell we are doing cuz I have tons of stuff, like literally tons of stuff to show you guys. Like, okay, first of all, on the list, Tinkers. What about Tinkers, you may ask? Well, check it out. So you guys didn't see this last time, but I've started to remodel the place. Uh, just add some detail, just to make everything look cool. Um, I didn't like the, the fact that this stuff um, was everywhere, like little yellow stuff. So, um, yeah, I kind of figured out a cool way to do this. So, I made this little pattern in the floor, right? Oh, we need one of those. Okay, so I made a little pattern in the floor, and I figured out a cool way um, to get everything lit up. Um, I was doing carpenter's blocks, but I noticed that um, the carpenter's block thing is kind of kind of causing lag. Like, I had this whole roof filled, and I had ideas for it and stuff, but, yeah, it was causing lag. So, we took that out. Um, but yeah, so I redid this and I started using this mana glass. It's from Batania's. Um, it's super easy to craft up. Um, you pretty much all you do is just get regular glass, toss it into your little mana pool and you get mana glass and it costs like nothing. And the, the best thing about it is it emits uh, light. So it's glass plus it emits light and it looks cool. So, uh, we're doing that. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this, um, we'll keep it. Uh, but aside from that, um, yeah, I just wanted some more lighting ideas uh, because I have these little inverted lights which cost me uh, pretty much all my glowstone. But yeah, that's not a problem because we'll, we'll, we'll figure out a way to automate that and I have an idea. So yeah. Um, so first of all, Tinkers. Um, I set up the little Tinkers smeltery thing. So we are going to be getting uh, some more cool tools. Um, I made a cobalt one, but I haven't upgraded it yet. Um, because I think I only have um, the ball of moss and I want to put the RF thing on there But we don't have any of the machines yet. So this is what we got so far um, I just placed all down all the little things um, These guys casting tables don't do anything. They're just for looks um, All of our drains and everything. Um, they're on the other side. So they're on the front. So yeah, it's just right there All right, so that that is the tinkers um, Farms farms got relocated. So let me show you guys currently um, you guys remember how I had my little power set up and then I had stuff going um, down there. So check it out. If you come over here and then you come down uh, so, yeah, I started um, expanding out all of our little hallways. Um, so yeah, so this is the farms area. And if you guys remember, oh, what's this? Oh, something's going on. We'll talk about this later. Uh, if you guys remember, I had the little MFR. Uh, tree farm right here um, So I took that out and I just reload this is turned off by the way in case you're wondering because look at this just 256 stacks. Yeah, we don't need any wood anytime soon. Um, I moved it down there So for now, that's where it's hanging out um, and we are gonna make more uh, farms and stuff and For those of you that watched the last episode, you're gonna know our little uh, squid friends were hanging out right here Well, I had to move him because uh, he was kind of in the way so he got moved right there uh oh, I just saw his feet. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Okay, he's just sleeping. He's sleeping, so he's good to go. The other one did die. <laughs> but we don't talk about that, because, uh, yeah. Okay, so the entrance. Let me let me show you guys the entrance, because uh, you guys are probably going to want to see this. So let me shoot myself outside. Ow. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. All right. Oh, ow, ooh, ow, ow. All right. So that thing, um, you guys know how like this water was just plopping down. Well, I figured it would look cool if it looked like it was coming from my base instead. So here, here it is, guys. Here it is. Take it in. Take it in. Dun, da, da, da. This is the new entryway. No one invited you. Damn it. Damn it to hell. Hold on. Let me handle this guy. Yeah, so this is gonna be the oh, get out of here guys. All of you guys are not invited All of you get 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 all right, so 
Um, I don't know what kind of design I was really going for. Um, I kind of just wanted some really like, whoa, where am I going into that kind of look. And yeah, so that there's nothing behind there. Um, this is going to lead to the Batania area, which I'll show you guys in a second. Um, that way, probably just machines and things. And then over here is just how you get to the farms. Um, so if we go up through here, bum, 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 I just redid this little area. I put that quite clear glass and then some mana glass down there. And yeah, for the most part, it still looks the same. I just think it looks really cool when you walk in. The color scheme, that's why the red's there. Um, and then this little portal teleporter thing. Check it out. So I just figured it was an easy way just to teleport around. Because as soon as you come in here, you can see all of the stuff. Yeah. So that that's basically all that does. Um, this is going to head down to the Batania room. And let me take you guys down there. Because uh, I know you guys are interested in what, what we got planned with the Batanias, right? So if we come across here, look at You can see the entrance. Oh, how cool is that? And it comes all the way over here. So you can look outside. Um, this is just going to be our temporary Batania area. I'm going to move all our Batanias over here. See? Looks cool, right? Um, but I do want to set up like a designated Batania area out in the nature somewhere. I'm not quite sure yet, though. Um, but there is a ton of Batanias. Like, look. That was room. Um, I want to get super mana generation. Uh, the Elven Portal, I want to do that. And in order to do that, I need some Terra Steel. Some terrestrial chingaderas, um, two natura pylons, some more mana pools, mana spreader, and tons of runes. Runes? Runes? Whatever. What do you guys know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so there's tons of stuff. So I'm going to move all the Batania stuff over here. And then, um, yeah. I was trying to figure out, like right here, you guys see with all the other stuff I want to do. Um, mob farm. Uh, we're going to need a mob farm. Uh, for. I mean, I have tons of ways of getting experience, but I have some ideas right and as part of this i thought hey cursed earth i've never made a cursed earth mob farm and i'm gonna do that ritual here pretty soon anyways maybe this episode maybe not um but yeah so that's on the list of things to do and then th along with that i'm gonna need a bow to kill the ender dragon because we said we were gonna do that and then wither bosses for my wings that's like the end goal get myself a wing well not end goal but uh, i want to get that asap 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 so um yeah these guys have been doing really good um i i need to move this these yeah these okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move all these little chingaderas and then i'm gonna go place them all on that side and then i will be right back well actually i'm gonna put away this stuff too so i'll be right back guys so real quick while i'm putting away all this stuff um i wanted to mention um you know guys, how i was telling you guys that i wanted to swap these all out for these little cash things right uh it's cool and all and i think it looks way better like if you look at it it fits with our design theme like a hundred times better than this crap this is like glitchy over there and then it just doesn't fit the color scheme does not fit so i really like this the only problem is i think we need um a multimeter yeah this this little guy right here so um i think i have everything electrum um we can craft them up real quick why not so I need five electrum, right? Five electrum, one iron, six electrum, one iron, some lead and some copper. Okay, so uh, I think you are electrum. Two, three, four, five. Uh, some redstone, some iron, and then what else? Two copper, and I think two lead, right? I think that was it. Okay, so let's craft this up. Now, this is the only problem, see I was ready to rock and roll make some more um actually had to go oh, God. Get, 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 get. wait did i not grab it maybe maybe i grabbed everything maybe i didn't who knows um but yeah i was all stoked getting ready to go and craft up some stuffs and things and then i realized hey i'm like out of everything like i literally was out of um tin like all your basic resources i was out of so that wasn't a good thing. Um, so I had to do a little bit of strip mining, which made me realize I need a way to automate all this stuff. Um, so we are definitely going to need to craft up some kind of way um, to get items. Oh, right now, in case you're wondering how the hell I'm getting so many of these little crafting uh, or carpenter's blocks, I have this little Steve's factory manager chilling right here. 
And all he does is every time that I run below one stack of these, it just crafts up all these sticks, planks, and crafts me up some more of this. It still needs some fixing because if you notice, it kind of crafts up too many sticks. But uh, yeah, no one really cares because uh, I don't. So yeah. And then uh, over here, I was getting too much cobble. So I just did the same thing. I put a Steve's factory manager underneath this guy. And now anytime I put cobble into this chest, it automatically compresses it, compresses it, and compresses it. So we get a, a compressed cobble. When we get enough of those, it makes double compressed. So that's that's pretty helpful right there. Uh, but we, like I said, we do need to swap these over. Um, and let me just show you what the multimeter does. If you go up to something and you just right click it, if you look on the bottom left hand side, see how it says ender pearls amount. So I can stick 10,000 items in here which is pretty good, um, like shiny ingots, let's see, redstone, I have a 1,000, 1,200, so I have a good amount of supplies, like 200, 120, so I'm not like crying about supplies, right? look at how much gold we have, I swear direwolf, this pack has so much freaking gold, like gold everywhere, so this is pretty cool, um, it only works on this, obviously, dirt, um, but yeah, so that's the only bad thing about this is I would need my little multimeter in order to Know what I have in there, but if you guys have any ideas for like cool ways to do it uh, Like automate this whole storage Because the only idea that I have is like make a dump chest. So as soon as I walk in Okay, here's my idea. I walk in and then um, I have like a little area so either like this corner or this corner I just walk up to it and it's gonna suck everything out of my inventory from here to here and then it's gonna sort it out for me. Like that's the only thing I can think of. Or we can just do the usual like dump a chest in here and then have the, um, what's that called? The nodes, the little node, what are these called? Can't think of the name. Uh, transfer nodes from extra utilities. Just have that suck it out and sort it out for me into those little chingaderas. Cause right now, pretty much what I do is just dump stuff in the like, if I have too much redstone, I just dump all the extra redstone inside these. So, yeah, uh, I could also use routers. Do you guys want to see me use routers? Um, do we still make them the same way? Magical, these things are freaking awesome. But these calls lag too. Um, I took these down and then my FPS went up like crazy. Uh, do you guys, do you, are routers gone? I don't know if they took them out or not. Um, I'm guessing they did. It looks like they got rid of the whole router chingadera. That sucks. Router used to be so cool. I like them. Oh well, whatever. All right, so I'm gonna put all my stuff away, and then I uh, will head on down with everything else that I need for the botanias, and I'll meet you guys downstairs. All right, catch you in a few. All right, so we finished up. Oh, well, I finished moving the botania stuff, and I'm joined by some random cat. And I think it's from those Ender Zoo guys. So not gonna mess with them because I've already picked a fight with a couple. Too many. Well, why not? Let's just see what he had. Come here, you. Come here, cat. I can't reach him. Oh, yeah, I can. Come here. Are you? Oh, you are a withered cat. You can't hit. All right, whatever. All right, you know what? I just want to show you guys in case you haven't seen what these guys do. Ready for this? He's going to get pissed. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that was weak. I think it's only when the witches help them out. Um, but usually, they're super OP. Alright. Um, so, the Batania stuff is set up. Um, I went ahead, and if you look down there, you're going to see a mana spreader. Um, it's bringing all of the manas from the other side. All the way. Oh, we can pick this guy up now. It's bringing it over to that side. So, it's just right underneath here. Uh, and you can kind of see it right there. Uh, I gotta get rid of that, but it just shoots through. Um, and I'm eventually I'm gonna put in some phantom lenses, which allows you to shoot through walls. So that would be pretty cool. Right now I only had enough to put a couple of efficiency ones all the way to here, and then these guys have nothing. So yeah, that's how it's working out. Okay, so I'm gonna get everything that we need to do some of this elven portal stuff because. Um, yeah, I still want to be able to do that, and I've never actually done the Elven Portal thing. Um, I got pretty close, but I wasn't able to do it. So I know we're going to need uh, some Lapis Blocks. I think we need three Lapis Blocks. 
Uh, sure. Let me show you guys what it is. So if you go into elf, elf menti, portal, here we go. All right. So we need those, which I already have. We need the terra steel ingot, which I don't have. I have some mana pearls, mana diamonds, mana steel. Um, I need one, two, three, four, four. And then I think anything can go there. And then I have those. So for now, I'm going to get this stuff and then I'm going to make this guy up. These are pretty simple. Um, I have most of these. I just need to make one of these, which is just some mana steel ingots and a mana pearl. So I think I have pretty much everything to make those guys. I want to say, yeah, uh, might need to make some more mana steel. So I'll bring that down with me. Um, and then what else do we need? We need some pylons. So mana pylons, diamonds, mana steel, gold. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Um, what else do we need? More terra steel ingots. And then we just need to set it up. So uh, let me craft this stuff up and then I'll show you guys what the layout looks like once we're ready to go. So I'm gonna grab up everything we need, which is uh, not that much stuff, I think. So I think it's just a few of these guys. And then um, I think we got diamond. We got everything we need downstairs. So yeah, let me craft all this stuff up and then I will be right back. Okay, so for those of you that didn't know, um, the little, what's it called? Let me go back, let me go back. I'll show you guys real quick. So before in the older versions of Batania, um, in order to make these Terra Steel ingots, you needed a beacon and all that stuff. This terrestrial um, aggl agglomeration plate, agglomeration, whatever you say. Um, this is what you need now in order to make them. So it's pretty simple. Um, you just make a grid like so. Um, actually, that looks ugly. Let's go ahead and hide this on the floor. Not quite sure where I want to hide this. And I don't think, um, can we hide it here? Let's try hiding it there. Cause that would look pretty cool. Oh, 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 making all kinds of mess. All right. Um, so we just put this guy in the middle, like a so. Like that. And then I think it's just living stone on the outside. Oh, do I still have some? Yeah, I do. I need to go get some more of this stuff. I found a bamboo, uh, forest that has a bunch of this, um, console stuff so it's pretty cool okay so i'm gonna craft this guy up um and i think we should be good to go and then we'll, we'll try it out see if it works all right so catch you guys in a few in case you didn't know these mana pylon things uh if you put them like this and then in the center you put an enchantment table it actually makes the enchantment full um like level 30 enchants so you just need two of these guys. So it's not expensive and it's a really cool way to do your enchantment room. I might end up making some more of these later on if I redo my enchantment room. Because uh, that would be pretty sweet. Alright, so we got pretty much everything we need. I'm just going to take down these little guys. Um, so if you didn't know, you can burn up charcoal um, made from sugar cane. So let me just show you guys how... Oh, that one hurt how I've been doing this. Uh, you pretty much just do this. Grab yourself some sugar. And we lag out. No, okay. We're good. We're good. Alright, so just do that. Toss this guy in here. I like it so. I need to fix this. I don't know why cotton keeps popping in here. Oh, and those guys are ready to get replanted. We'll replant those. Hey, what are you guys doing in there? Uh, we'll take you guys. Because we don't know. Alright, so sugar will cook up. And then you'll get yourself some sugar coal. You put nine of these guys into a block and there you go. Get some sugar blocks. So these should be pretty good. Um, 4,000 sounds pretty decent. I think, don't quote me on this, but I think that if you place these inside of... Yeah, see, it doesn't show you. Um, I'm going to try it out. But I think if you place them inside of... Um, what is that thing called? Uh, a blast furnace? No. It's from Railcraft, that big multi-block thing. Uh, whatever it's called, if you place them inside of one of those guys, um, it should give you back coal coke. So if it does, that would be a pretty sweet way of getting it, getting coal coke. So I'll figure it out. If it works, that'd be amazing. All right. So we'll just drop that guy in there and then grab this guy, plop that guy there. And I think if I did it right, I should just need to put one of each. Uh, let's see. So mana pearl, mana steel, and mana diamond. So let's take a ring off, still off. So mana pearl, mana, uh, okay. 
So let's try this out. Ready? You guys ready for this? Let's put it on top and skadoosh. Yeah, no. It's supposed to be doing stuffs. I don't think that's gonna work. All right, so let me plop this guy out because uh, I think it has to be out of the ground. Maybe. I think I did it right. I should have. Should be correct. So let me um, refill this little guy up real quick. And I'll double check. Okay, because I think... Okay, so Living Rock. We got that. Lapis Lazuli Blocks. We got that. Okay, okay, okay. And then what's underneath you? That's what I want to know. I can't really... Oh, here we go. This should be fun. Get away. No. Alright, so we're good. Okay, so I think... Let's, let's just see. We'll try this one out. So, blop, 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 blop. Oh, wait, we did this wrong. Let's try it again. Should not be this difficult. Uh, we might need... Oh, it's in here. One more. So, I'm going to try it like this. I've never done this one before. So, bear with... Oh, no. That's not where you go. At least they put the lapis to good use. Because, um, yeah, it doesn't really do anything other than that. All right, so let's see. Um, this guy, this guy, that guy. Do I need to hit it with a wand? No. No. Um, do you need to? Wait, find mode. This guy. Is that how you work? No. All right, give me one second while I figure this out, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back at the old base, because uh, we ran out of flowers. Yeah, unfortunately. So check this out. Look how much stuff we got. I refilled everything. So we got more stone in there, and then we got some more barrels, or wood inside that barrel down there. So I am just going to get a couple flowers, and then um, I guess in order to do that little chingadera, it does need mana. Um, and according to, um, what's it called? The little book of coolness that is the Lexica Botanica, but whatever you guys know what I'm talking about. According to that book, um, it says that the best way to do it is to get the sparks and in order to make these sparks, you need some more little mana petals, which I have none of. So I'm just going to grab up a couple flowers, head back and, uh, we'll craft them up. So I think we should be good to go. Ow, ow. Ow. All right, so storage room, done. All right, and let's see if we got it. I think I think we should be good. All right, so we'll put that yeah, there. Actually, can we sag mill these guys? I think we can. Should be able to. Oh, uh, that's what I was forgetting. I need to put some more um, flint inside there. All right, so we'll put that. Should be good, just with that. All right, so I'm gonna craft these guys up. And then, um, yeah, I think that's all we needed, right? I wanna say yes. And then one gold ingot. Or a gold nugget. Correct, correct, uh, no, of course not. What am I messing up here? Do these have to be the special? Yeah, they might have to be the special mana ones. All right, so let me go downstairs and do that. Okay, so it does need to be the little uh, magical mana ones. So I will just leave those in there for now. Um, and then let's let's just make up a couple more. I, I think we only need one, if I'm correct, because according to that uh, little book, um, it says you just basically use these guys instead of the little um, spreaders and it attracts the mana for you. So I think we should be good to go. All right, so. Oh, oh, I like that better. Okay, cool. All right, so I think uh, we should be good to go. Let's see how many we get now. Cause I can't add, so we're just gonna guess four. Oh, we can make it more, but yeah, that'll have to wait. All right, so if I did everything correctly, I should just be able to right click this. And this little guy should be collecting up all the manas and bringing it here. I said it should. So, 
Um, but let's just try it out one more time. Let's see. All right, so dun, dun, dun. all we want, we need two. We need two of these guys. All right, so let's just plop that guy down, this guy down, and that guy down, and that guy down. Is it gonna start? No. Oh, you know what? Uh, I'm kind of dumb. Uh, it specifically said it needs half a little barrel of this stuff. So let's set it to accepting. And then let's just give it all the manas. Hopefully that's enough though, because I'm, I'm not quite sure. And let's see. Can we bind this mana pool to this guy? Oh, apparently you don't do that. It knocks it down. Okay, so let's just see if it works. Where are you going? Are you eating it all? Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Okay. So let's, let's just try it. It's supposed to start as soon as the items are down. And you have enough mana. Alright, I'm gonna go get some more coal, fill this up, and then we'll see if that's enough. Alright, be right back. Okay, actually I was dumb. I just checked it and it was giving that mana <laughs> instead of taking away. So when it hits that 50 degree thing, or 50%, this should start. Oh man, did we just run out? Did we just run out? Oh, I think we did. Wait, did I have any left? No, of course I didn't. Oh, we're like literally right there. So I think maybe with just these little coal blocks, we should we should have more than enough. So let's see. You're gonna start. You're gonna start. Come on, man. I think that's it. That should be it. See, I wish there was a way that you could check, because everything else you can check. It's just for whatever reason, this doesn't let you. Hmm. All right, so we're just gonna have to wait, I guess. All right, I'll be back when this thing starts up. Wow, it worked. Okay, so I'm pretty um not intelligent. So the problem was, in case you were wondering, that you need two sparks. I have three of them, but I you need one over where you want it to go, and then there you go. It connects whatever mana um, place you want to the other mana one. And then there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. Oh man, that took forever to figure out. <laughs> that was seriously ridiculous. And now I have no manas. So we have one Terra Steel, which is good, I guess. Um, I think that might be enough to start it. It's not going to be enough to get the whole thing going, though, unfortunately. And um, yeah, so the Elven Gateway Core. Um, that should be good right there and the pylons We're gonna need one more. So Yeah, I think I think that's gonna do it for this episode though guys Next episode, um, I'll have everything set up and ready for you guys So when you guys come back, we will have our little elven portal ready to open up and get started With our new elven stuffs cuz uh, yeah, we want to do all the cool little uh, Batania stuffs so Guys, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure you leave it a like. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the series, and it gives me motivation to keep making these videos for you guys. And if this is your first time checking out my Dire Wolf 20 series, and you did enjoy this little episode, uh, why don't you uh, take a second, head down, and uh, subscribe. That way you know when the next videos are coming out. But that does it for me, guys. I'm Dizzy Aaron, and I am out.